so we've got four ambulances on the way in now. So there's two inbound and two expected, and one's just arrived. They weathered the first and the second wave. There's another blanket, please, Marie. Now they're bracing themselves for the cold wave. Seasonal winter pressure. It's late, but it's here. I think where we are now, um, February going into March, this would probably have come a little bit earlier. We're starting to see what we would say is our winter pressures the last week or two, rather than it start in January. So I think it's a little bit later, and I think the next couple of weeks are going to be very challenging. The news of the roadmap comes with, with good news and kind of makes us all very bit anxious and a bit nervous as well. It's a triple whammy. Winter. Sick patients who have stayed away from hospital are now seeking treatment, and there's still a pandemic. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Debbie Fairbrother was rushed to hospital by ambulance after she fainted at work. Her daily blackout started after she caught COVID-19 five weeks ago. What happened to you? Uh, as far as I know, I just collapsed. Um, don't remember anything, don't, don't actually remember it um, coming on or anything like that. No warning this morning. Um, don't remember much, to be honest. I just remember waking up and then getting in the ambulance. The hospital is seeing a sharp spike in emergency attendances. We've been here for nearly 48 hours and at least 392 patients have attended A&D in that time. That's comparable to the busiest winter. We've been filming here for about 10 minutes and in that time, about four ambulances have arrived. Now that just gives you an idea of just how much pressure there is still on hospitals like this one. The hospital's intensive care unit is still full of very sick COVID-19 patients. But thankfully, there are fewer now than during the peak of the second wave. I think at some point, lockdown has got to be eased. You know, the, the government's in an impossible situation. When, when do you do it? Numbers are certainly dropping. The pressure is certainly easing on the NHS and we're starting to see more of the normal winter pressure. But we wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't another, another surge, another wave. Hospitals across the country must manage winter pressures at the same time as COVID-19. Infection control, hot and cold zones and patient flows. New ways of working must be found. Bed, cardiac monitoring, everything's in there. Dr Patel showed me the new pods where he can treat and still protect vulnerable patients. This area has been remodelled to take pressure off its emergency department. You're noticing the normal COPD asthma patients coming through the door now um, that we perhaps didn't do a little while ago. Um, and that presents another challenge because we need to protect those that have come in with frail lung conditions from any other patients that may have COVID within the hospital. So it's about creating areas like this to, like you say, may mean that we've got a place to move them out of A&E as quickly as possible. It's right to look forward to the summer. The vaccines and falling infection rates give us hope. But it's also wrong to think this emergency is over. Ashish Joshi Sky News at Warrington Hospital.